Hey, what is happening? What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel. Hopefully this video gets some new subscribers. But yeah, what I'm going to do in this video is I actually got a comment on uh, my previous video uh, saying that they want to see like a direct comparison between Cycles and Eevee because Eevee's got this massive update in Blender 4.2. As you can see, yeah, uh, I've got 4.2. And yeah, so what I thought I'd do is just get a a normal kind of scene and then we can compare a little bit and i can just show you a few settings just to make your ev render a little bit more realistic make it look a bit nicer so what i'm going to do is just open up the scene so i go file okay and this is a scene here so you can see there this is what it looks like and we are in cycles obviously and yeah doesn't look too bad so let me render it for you and let's render the the cycles version so just go f12 okay and there we go you can see this is rendered in cycles what i'm going to do is just save it so i'm just going to save it and make it like like save it okay and then let's do it in ev so this is a cycles render like i said let's switch to ev so boom okay and it looks a little bit different this material is looking quite nice uh, but the the ground the ground plane is not looking that good and there's no like reflection so what can we do to yeah we can bring the renders up the the samples to so make your quality higher you i suggest enabling shadows okay and then and then what we can do is enable ray tracing so if we click there give it a chance to load you can see this is what it looks like now what we can do to get those nice reflections is you can bring this roughness so if you bring it all the way you can see it's now giving that nice reflection okay you can bring your resolution up and if you change that to live pro you can see it it stops so you want the screen trace just to make it a little bit look a little bit more like the cycles render i'm not 100 percent sure why it's not green and while the cycles render is green not 100 percent sure if anyone knows let me know uh, i don't claim to know everything like i said i just teach what i know in blender and yeah you can see it's got a nice reflection it doesn't have those shadows but you can see this looks it looks nice so for for a ev render and then what you can do is just push f12 and there it's rendered okay and it still looks very good in my opinion so you can just save it as an image so save and just change this to eve and go to final renders okay but yeah this is what i've noticed you know what what i can actually say is that i've noticed that in previous version of blender cycles and ev were completely different in, in this kind of menu and you can see now ev is kind of adopted the cycles settings you know it's set like that but you know what the thing is is that i've also noticed that the the ev is a lot slower more prone to the to just being a bit slow you know when you want to move around it just yeah because it's trying to be more realistic more more features more everything it, it's becoming slower and a lot of people used ev for speed if you have like a weaker computer but it's still like i said it render times it's super quick and that, that could save you you know if you're doing like an animation or that kind of thing let's just have a look at ev with a like a darker scene so like a cinematic kind of scene something like this let's have a look at this so you can see this is a cycle scene and it looks pretty good if i just hide this it looks decent got a bit of fog let's have a look what it will look like in eevee and to be honest this is eevee so you can see we in eevee and this looks a lot nicer with eevee i enable ray tracing and it doesn't look too bad just one thing so let's just go back to cycles okay one thing you want to do so let's say if i click on let's just go here and i don't know if i've got these lights made to shine let me just have a look quickly give me a second let me just delete this and just add an emission so search type in emission i'm just going to show you how to because the bloom feature in eevee is gone so you'll need to 
uh, make it e there's no more bloom so what you do just click there and then just leave the color like that let's just bring the strength up to like 25 go back to layout let's have a look okay and you can see with cycles you have to add that Leonard. same thing with Eevee unfortunately if I go here you can see it doesn't have that bloom effect so what you need to do is I'm not going to render both but this looks nice cycles doesn't Eevee doesn't look bad in my opinion let's go to compositing click use nodes as you can see we're in Eevee so unfortunately no more bloom because the bloom you just need you just used to have to just check it here I don't know what why they've got rid of it but yeah just go shift a and just type in glare same as the cycles way added in there change it from streak to fog low and you can change this and yeah then you just go f12 and you render it and it will have that bloom effect i'm not going to render it but i showed you in the in the previous examples the difference between cycles and eevee in my opinion blender have kind of i wouldn't say messed up with adding all these extra features to eevee because yeah for some people they'll use it for some people they won't but it's obviously <laughs> For me, I've noticed unless there's bugs and Blender need to fix some issues with Eevee, it's not as smooth as Cycles. For me, to be honest, using Cycles is just better still. And yeah, uh, rendering obviously takes a bit longer than with Eevee, but the workflow just still feels better in Cycles compared to Eevee. And a lot of times Eevee used to be better than Cycles to view your stuff. So yeah, hopefully you learned something or hopefully the video helped you. Uh, let me know what you think of the new EV updates in Blender. And yeah, check out the Patreon. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. See you in the next video. Peace.